for EE uh, as a business, the, the business philosophy behind EE has always been to try and not just own every proposition ourselves, but to work with partners in order to bring new and innovative propositions to market. This was a business decision that was taken uh, uh, a long time back, actually about four years back when EE was formed, that we won't try to just bring new products and propositions to market ourselves, but also look at what's out there, work with the best of breed vendors basically out there with partners and, and bring a more collaborative ap approach to bringing propositions. And if you look at um, uh, some of the more recent propositions that we have brought to market, things like um, you know, antivirus propositions or the Apple Music propositions, that's all enabled through our, our API platform. The two big challenges that um, API management has helped us overcome is uh, firstly, um, the, the speed of onboarding of the partners has been greatly reduced. What used to take weeks, sometimes even months actually, has been reduced down to uh, a number of days for an existing API. And even the, the creation of APIs itself has become a, a much more speedy process basically because uh, earlier we were very much um, y using a, a project and, and you know, a, a, re a release type of process in order to bring services to market. Now uh, we have dealing that actually and we've got a much more agile process for doing that. The end goal, if I can say that, at, at EE for using API management, and, and we are still some way off from that, um, long way off from that probably, uh, is, is actually to, um, to get into a position where every type of engagement with every type of partner is enabled through APIs. So, so today we are using APIs for um, things like content partners, for bringing new propositions to market. We are using it for a number of our internal challenges for our own uh, digital app, mobile web, clients, but what we also want to do is there are a, a, a set of partners that we want to work with. Um, we already work with them, but we want to bring them about using APIs. So examples are, we are an MVNO operator as well. Actually, the in fact, the UK's largest MVNO Virgin Mobile works on our network, Astra Mobile works on our network. Um, those sort of engagements we want to enable using APIs. Um, potentially, there's uh, uh, other sorts of engagements. This, the IoT space is looking quite interesting, uh, and the end game would be that we would have APIs for all those sort of things as well. We have made big moves towards delinking our backend systems from our services, uh, and to the extent where when we create our APIs, we now have enough domain knowledge within the API team itself to create new and innovative APIs and, and stitch them together in new and different ways without really relying on lots of backend development. There are um, several challenges in the uh, in the telecom industry. One of the biggest ones is that we are investing serious amounts of money into our network. And there are lots of over-the-top providers, basically, who are using our network where we are investing, but we are not reaping the benefits of it. So we need to open up our APIs so that we can we can monetize that network and monetize our assets. And so um, that's quite a key challenge. Uh, also, we are quickly moving towards things like 5G and moving more and more towards software-defined networks. Um, there's other factors as well. So, for example, uh, previously we used to have hardware SIMs actually that had to be given to customers. Now we are moving towards the eSIM model where the customer has the ability essentially to move to any network, um, you know, basically uh, as, as they choose to. And so all of these um, sort of engagements I see would be enabled using APIs and that's, that's, quite, a, that's quite a key focus area for us as well. Recently, uh, we went live with the version 4 of our self-service app and uh, we had a, a, a huge spike in traffic actually, and, and that traffic was handled on the Apigee SaaS platform without us even realizing it. New message processors were started up, uh, and, and that volume was dealt with without, without seeing any interruption in service. And that's, that's quite key, and that's the promise of um, using the cloud and using the SaaS model for us as well. So there was a, there was a good uh, proof of uh, uh, you know, using that capability. So I'm quite, quite pleased with Apigee as a company.